Hello, everyone. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. So happy that you could join me once again for Sacred Mantras for Changing Times. This is Cher. And I'm excited today because we have a special program for you today, something a little bit different. I know you love to chant your sacred mantras, so do I, and we will continue to do that, of course. But I wanted to offer um, something a little bit different today because I wanted to introduce you to, first of all, a program, a workshop that is coming up. And this workshop is entitled A Soul Song and Dance for Feeling and Liberating Your True Self. And I have the honor and the pleasure of doing this workshop with Henderson Ong, who is a Tao dance teacher. I am a Tao song teacher, for those of you who, who may not know that, um, for Tao Academy. And so this is going to be a really fun event. And I have invited Henderson to be with us, to join us today. And he's here. He'll be on in just a moment. And he's going to give us a little bit of soul dance, you know, experience. I'm going to give a little bit of soul song experience today. So we're changing it up a bit. Please let me know who's here. I see Indira. Welcome. I see Susan. Welcome. Thank you for joining today and everybody else who is here also. You know, soul song, soul dance is such a beautiful way uh, of expressing what is in our heart, what is in our soul. So I'm not going to delay any further because I do want to spend some time talking with Henderson about this. And then we'll have some time, of course, to uh, do some practices together. And we're going to do a giveaway, everybody. So get ready, you know, for when that happens. <laughs> so first of all, let me welcome uh, beloved Henderson Ong. He is a dear, uh, dear friend and colleague. We've known one another for many, many years, for going on decades now. And for those of you who know him, I don't need to describe him because you know he is very pure-hearted, kind-hearted person. He's wise, he's generous, um, he's dedicated to making others happier and healthier. And I know he's going to do some of that for us today. So welcome, Henderson. So great to see you. Thank you, Cher. Very excited to be here and being with everyone. Wonderful. Uh, we have, so I see others jumping in, Sarah and River, Ginger, Lena. It's so great to see you, everybody. Thank you for being with us today. Henderson, you know, I'd like for us to take a few moments before we get into introducing people to some soul song or soul dance experiences i i would like for us to talk a little bit about you know the significance of soul song and soul dance because you and i have been practicing it for decades uh <laughs> you know master shah first introduced it to us in divine soul songs book and um soul wisdom book right so many years ago and for me it's been such a you know powerful tool practice to use in my life in every area of life i feel when i'm chanting my soul song or doing some soul dance that i'm connecting much more deeply to my own essence to my own soul but also the external souls you know and I feel that that connection is a real and true connection. Can you say a little bit uh, about that in terms of dance or song, you know, or, or both? Because really both do the same. Do you agree? I agree. Um, for me, connecting with the soul dance truly goes back within. And it helps me find my within. Like, it brings out our feelings, our emotions. It helps us solidify 
our base. And many times there are there will be some movements that our body just wants to do and we are not sure why. And again, sometimes the soul dance could feel kind of awkward because it's not moving fully symmetrically like we know what a dance should be. But it somehow creates this feeling of freedom and extension and the, the energy that it extends out to others is very different. It truly can, can stretch out and extend the feeling at the same time, the vibration. That's uh, what I've experienced when I do soul dance. People would say, uh, oh, wow, it's, uh, it's, I can feel it. And for me, it's like, oh, it's kind of funny because I just did lopsided dancing, but I let it go because all I know is when you're following the, the beat inside your own body, then it truly uh, resonates with others as well. Yeah, I totally agree, you know, and I, it's really the same with so song. And what I was thinking about when you were describing that, uh, when you were saying that was that there's a story with every soul dance, there's a story with every soul song. And that story has to do with our soul's story, you know, our, our experience, uh, you know, we talk about souls having lived many lifetimes, not just one lifetime, but even if it's just one lifetime, we all have lots of stories from this, this lifetime. But it's also the stories of our ancestors that we carry, we carry that in, a, in the DNA in the RNA, in the memory banks, you know, and in, in the great information highway. So every dance, every song, has a story and really it's just about us sharing that story isn't it definitely and this story that we have upon shared can help others that is the most powerful essence because if we communicate just like how you say we cannot quantify love we can only share love and that sharing brings it out to others. So true, you know, and I'm just thinking I'm seeing everybody here more and more people are joining us today, everybody. And listen, we welcome you to share any of your experiences doing soul song, soul dance. Um, and, and the beauty of it is that because as you said at the beginning is it's a feeling. It's a feeling you get. And even if you don't under, fully understand on a mind level the story, it doesn't matter. It's not about understanding it on the mind level or making sense of it. Because as you said, your body can, can move in different ways that may not look balanced from a, a dance perspective, you know, a traditional kind of dance perspective. But that's not what we're trying to do. We are, we are expressing from the soul's and heart's perspective. And so whatever comes through and is experienced, you know, as a feeling is, is perfect, is right. And it does serve people because there's a purity about that place, you know, where we meet on the soul, on the heart and soul levels. And that meeting place is a recognition of one another's humanity, whatever we've faced, you know, in life, the joys, the challenges that we face. And in so meeting at that place, witnessing, seeing one another, feeling one another's experience, there's a healing that occurs. So, Today, everybody, you know, because the, the workshop that Henderson are, and I are doing on the 25th of September, for those of you who have just arrived, Henderson and I are doing a soul song and dance a workshop, a one day workshop for feeling and liberating your true self. 
um, on September 25th, Saturday, and it's from 10 to 5. It'll be recorded, but if you can join us live, be there live. Uh, if you can't, you know, watch the recording, we're going to explore some of these things in more in depth that we're talking about today, because we have really understood over the years as we've been practicing soul song, soul dance, the, the meaning of it and how it can help us to heal, how it can help us to wake up how it can help us to develop greater compassion for ourselves and for everyone. And that's what we want to do. We have to, you know, really develop these things more and more so we can be of service to others. So, you know, when Master Shah says we together, we can heal the world, we can. <laughs> but we need to come together, you know, in certain practices and things that we do and heart to heart, soul to soul connection through song and dance is doing just that. Right. So I would like to ask you, Henderson, to take us, you know, all of us who are here, you know, to take us through uh, a soul dance, soul movement experience. Some of you who are here, you may have had experience with it. And some of you may not have. You know, it might be your first time even hearing about it. I see... Um, Shirley saying soul dance is an expression of our soul through movement while our soul song is vocal expression of our soul beautiful and amazing yin and yang yes they are yin and yang balancing our yin and yang Shirley thank you for that uh, so everybody relax and follow Henderson he's going to take us through an experience thank you so much Henderson wonderful the beautiful thing about soul song and soul dances. They are one unit. How many of you who loves to sing, you feel that internal dance inside of you, right? And for us who, are, who loves to dance, it is actually the internal music within us that moves the body. So, let me try putting on some audio. If not, if it works, you know, uh, we will continue. If it doesn't work, they will tell me it doesn't work. Um, but I want you to listen to this music and hold on to it. The first minute, allow the music to come into the body and you feel it inside your body and try not to move for the first minute, all right? Here it goes. Can you hear anything? If not yet, then it's not working. We're not hearing it yet, Henderson. Perfect. So let's try it this way now. Henderson. Uh, Henderson, you're muted, so we can't hear you. So there, now you can hear me again? Now we can hear you. Perfect. Let's go for it. To the body now allow the music to move your body 
And from there, you will feel it coming in from your soul's movement. Very gently, softly. You can do it even when you're sitting down in front of a computer. encouraged to stand up and move your whole body. I encourage you to stand up and move your whole body according to what's inside of you. That energy, let the energy move with the music. Coming down to a neutral position, allowing the energy to still culminate inside of you, and now keeping still for a brief moment, focusing on the breathing itself. Breathing in. And gently relax. Breathing in finally. And exhale fully. Allow that energy to be there. And stay throughout the day. How does that feel? Your internal fire energy, the soul dance that turned on. Bum, 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 bum. If you feel it, please share what you felt. And we are very excited to hear from you. Thank you, Cher, for allowing me to share a little bit. Thank you, Henderson. Wonderful. You know, it surprises me, even just like a few moments of just doing some movement, making the connection. Um, I already feel my body responding, but not just my body, but just the feeling, you know, just a clarity, you know, in my mind as well. And, uh, you know, connecting also the breath, you know, with the movement. 
don't know. It just, for me and others, you know, you can share as well. It makes me feel more alive. I think that's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> that definitely is the best way to describe it. For me, it's like, how many of you have a morning routine, right? You jump into a cold shower or some people can uh, do some things in the morning routine that just wakes them up, a cup of coffee, right? <clears throat> for for many of us dancers is to have that first going out to start moving. And this soul dance, soul movement is from internally inside of you. You turn it on, it's like, boom, you're awake. Yeah. Ooh, this is a, a new new sales new sales thing now. Turn it on, your soul movement, soul dance. It's better than a <laughs> cup of coffee. No? It, it is actually for sure. I like it. Um, I just see I read a couple of comments. Um, someone, I'm sorry, I can't see everybody's name, you know, uh, in the stream yard, but someone said, join this with a whole body full of pain. My body is loving the music and I feel love and peace. Wonderful. Glad to hear it. Uh, Indira feels amazing and calm. Oh, so peaceful. Thank you, Henderson. Uh, and then I think that's Yona as a Feldenkrais and Qigong practitioner. I absolutely lo love everything you are doing and saying. Totally resonates. Even though I came late, I caught up a bit and loved it. Yum. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Yona. Susan, it's amazing. Indira says, best coffee ever. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, <laughs> Indira. <laughs> so wonderful. I'm going to take you just for a couple of moments now. Thank you so much, Henderson. Uh, I'm going to take you for a couple of moments now uh, through a soul song, you know, soul sound experience. And then Henderson and I will come back on, offer everybody a blessing. And for those of you who just came in, we're going to do a giveaway for this uh, beautiful workshop that Henderson and I are doing on the 25th of September. So stay around. Um, so everybody, I want you to sit up straight. And let's just, you can stand, of course, please feel free to stand while doing this. And just take a couple of deep breaths, you know, down into the core. And I want you to just say hello to your soul. Hello, my soul. Just say it. Hello, my soul. Yeah. And let us express love. I love you. I honor you. I appreciate you. Think about how our soul has guided us in this lifetime, even when we weren't listening, you know, even when the mind was preoccupied, not listening to the messages, all of the ways in which our soul has brought us to this very, very moment. Can you please make a sound? All right, we're asking our soul to make a sound. And we're going to start everybody by just humming. All right, we're going to sit, we're sitting up straight or standing if you wish to stand. We've made the connection with our first chakra. All right, breathing down there into the first chakra. Dear my soul, repeat after me. Dear my soul. Please make a sound through humming. And in that sound, let me know what my heart is feeling. Okay, so completely relax, everybody. We're asking our soul through the humming sound to let us know what our heart is feeling. Here we go. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
just listen. The vibration is continuing inside. Listen to what your heart is feeling. How, how, how? Okay, a simple little exercise, simple practice, connecting heart and soul, allowing the sound to carry the message from our heart. This is um, also a taste of some of the things that we're going to do on the 25th. We're really learning how to better listen to our soul sound, our soul song, our soul movement, our soul dance, because the soul expresses itself in so many different ways to us. But these are two of the most extraordinary ways, the most expressive ways of pure language and message to us. So uh, welcome you, uh, you know, anybody, everybody, you know, share. Did you feel anything in that moment? Just a couple of moments of the humming, the sound, you know, from our soul and what it felt like. You know, maybe you got an image, just a feeling, maybe a message of some kind. Uh, either way, um, share along with us. I'm going to invite Henderson to come. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Um, Susan says she feels peaceful. Wonderful, Susan. Thank you. Uh, I do too. I, I would say I have to say the same. It just was very soothing, very peaceful. Uh, welcome back, Henderson. And someone else is saying, thank you. Feeling my heart opening and as if it is dancing wonderful and indira says wow this is next level wow <laughs> thank you indira wonderful hello uh sharon henderson feeling peace and warm in my heart and then i'm getting yes love this my religion is humming I've done this so much when going to the doctor, when about to get on a plane or on a plane and on and on and on. Uh, I believe that Siona sharing that. Thank you so much. Sarah, thank you so much, Henderson and Sherry. Da I, which means greatest love. I felt my soul uplifted and could see my soul floating atop of the trees, so peaceful and grounding, so grateful. Thank you. Wonderful, Sarah, thank you. So Henderson and I would like to offer everybody uh, a soul song, soul dance, uh, blessing to end, and we'll do our giveaway. Let us know if you would like to receive the giveaway. Post it in the chat now. By the time we're finished, we'll be able to see it. And we'll choose somebody through uh, divine guidance. So Henderson, here we go. I'm just connecting with my soul.
How? 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Henderson. Thank you, everybody. Okay, more and more people joining as we go along. Uh, welcome you, everybody, to uh, enjoy, you know, the recording. You can watch if you didn't get to be here from the beginning. Henderson and I, uh, you know, have wanted to be here with you today. And, oh, by the way, we're going to be together here next Wednesday night, not tonight, uh, tonight's Francisco doing the second uh, class of his master class, but the following Wednesday, uh, the 22nd, Henderson and I will be here from, from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern time, and we're going to give you an, uh, a bigger taste uh, of uh, the soul song and dance for feeling and liberating your true self workshop on the 25th of September. Uh, so join us for that event. And then right now, I'm just going to look and see so many people. Uh, Sarah, what a beautiful blessing. Thank you both. I feel so much connection and love. Such fluidity in your movements, Henderson. So smooth and removing blockages. Tasha, thank you for blessing us with your voice and dance. Wonderful. And I'm just going to look to see those of you who asked to be considered uh, Yona, OMG, this was so beautiful. Beyond words, I found myself in tears the entire time. Touched me very deeply. Thank you both. And that was Nora about the fluidity in your movement. Thank you, Nora. Okay, so in terms of the giveaway, let me, so many of you, Keen, and today, Yona. Congratulations, Yona. Give Yona a big hand. She's the giveaway for September 25th. <laughs> so Yona, uh, Shirley, please put uh, Dow Center Toronto at drshaw.com email, uh, you know, in the chat for Yona to write to us, let us know, and we will get you registered as our guest, Yona. Everybody else, uh, please join us. Uh, Henderson, any final thoughts, any final words for everybody today? I just love the soul connection between your soul song and my soul dance. Because I heard it, it was ending and it stopped. <laughs> or, you know, then I calmed down, then I said, wonderful. It is that beautiful feeling that when you connect soul to soul, as Master Shah would say, heart touch heart, soul touch soul. I couldn't agree more, Henderson. I feel it as well. And clearly others feel it as well because they were sharing that in the chat. And we want you all to have that experience of heart touch heart, soul touch soul. In this way, we will heal we will rejuvenate, we will transform uh, our negative messages to positive messages, and we will love and serve each other in the best possible way. So uh, we look forward to seeing you all next Wednesday and next Saturday, the 25th. Much love to everybody. Yes, someone's saying the synchronicity of your two souls is beautiful. Thank you. We feel it. You felt it. Wonderful. And thank you, Henderson, so much for taking the time to be with us today. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all again soon. Look forward everybody. to seeing everyone. Thank you for inviting me today. Bye-bye, everyone.